For lunch today, we are at a local family's home and we're eating a dish called maglube. Oh, oh, oh yes. I haven't even had the chicken yet and I'm already blown away by this meal. We are packing up and getting ready to check out. Today we are driving south and we're gonna visit a biosphere reserve and then after that we are heading to Petra tonight. Mm. I'm loving the hummus for breakfast. For the next five days we're gonna be traveling around Jordan. We're gonna do all sorts of adventure activities, see some of the most famous sites and attractions. I'm excited and then after that we're gonna be coming back to Amman for two more days before we leave. We've been driving for about an hour and a half somewhere in the middle of the desert and taking a quick rest stop and stretch for a few minutes here. I just went inside the shop and ordered a cup of Arabic coffee. Oh, I'm in love with Arabic coffee. It's so good, that cardamom. We have just arrived to the Dana village and Dana biosphere. We are getting out to take a look at the Jordan Rift Valley at this viewpoint now. We just drove to Dana village, which is the little village that I could see from the lookout point. We are gonna have lunch here and then just kind of walk around. It is a very small little village, very quiet and peaceful and very old as well. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, let's go. Oh yes. Ah, there it is. Oh yes. The Lebanese I told you about. Oh yes. From Mune. From Mune. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh wow. <laughs> oh, the aroma of that rice smells incredible. <laughs> wow. For lunch today, we are at a local family's home in this village and we're eating a dish called maglube. The common sort of translation of the dish is either upside down or flipped over because of the way they make it. And they first simmer down some, I think some onions and some different spices and then cook a layer of meat. And then after that is a layer of rice, which is the, um, which is actually the top. It's cooked on the top so that all the rising steam of the different ingredients cook up into the rice. But actually the rice is actually the foundation or the bottom of the dish because once it's finished cooking, the entire pot of the dish is flipped over onto a platter and then you have the meat on the top. An olive with bread. Some of that. Lebanon. Lebanon. <laughs> Nothing tastes like this Lebanese that I ever tasted anywhere in the world. I'm gonna grab a piece of bread. This is a type of Lebanese, which is a strained yogurt. But this one is dried out and into these little balls and then there are, I think that's olive oil on the bottom there. Yes, I'm gonna preserve it in olive oil. So it's quite salty also. Very I'm gonna much. grab a, a little bit of that. Ah. And then I'm gonna add an olive, a green olive to this bite. 
Look how that food. Oh yeah. It's salty. It's juicy. The cheese is kind of crumbly. And then sorry, the yogurt. The yogurt is kind of crumbly. And it is yeah, salty. It goes excellent with the bread. It looks like skin. Yes. It's just a roasted Slightly skin. Burnt. Fadi says that the bottom of the pan, the part that has that golden crispy bottom, is the best part of the whole dish. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. This is a chicken wing. Oh, there's everything you need in here. Chicken, rice, spices, there's nuts, there's parsley. Oh, oh, oh yes. This is just a, a family. A family feast. I'm just gonna taste that rice though first. Oh wow, that rice is so moist. It tastes like chicken broth is just wrapping that entire rice together. It's a little bit sticky. It's fragrant, you can taste that parsley. You can taste those fried fragrant peanuts. That is stunning. We also have a salad that goes with this and there are tomatoes, there are cucumbers in here, there are I think that's some radish, mm -hmm. and then also uh, lemon. Mm -hmm. Add some of this to my plate. And also, within the dish, the rice, if you like kind of fish around, you'll find pieces of cauliflower as well as eggplant. So it's all like a, just a one pot meal deal with salad, just, oh, and this is potato. I'll put a little bit of yogurt onto this bite. I'm getting it with that crunchy bit and some of that salad as well. I haven't even had the chicken yet, and I'm already blown away by this meal. Yeah, I love it with those tomatoes and that salad, because that gives it a, a refreshing contrast and juicy tomato, tart and juicy contrast, with the crispy cucumbers, and yeah, that bottom crunchy bit is unbelievable. Kind of tastes like caramelized chicken fat, which has just been slow cooked to flavorful perfection. I'm gonna add a little bit of yogurt to this. The yogurt is also superbly good. It tastes so fresh and full, full cream. Wow. Chicken is so flavorful um, in a kind of like free range grazing, running around kind of way. You can taste the chicken flavor. It's almost impossible to stop eating, especially when the giant platter of food is right before you. Okay, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, shukran. Wow. Oh, one more portion. Yeah. I thought I was gonna finish, but a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It is so good. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I think I can. Guys, one more portion. I'm gonna have to add a little bit more tomatoes to that. Mm. Oh, I really like it with that tomato contrast. That is from the bottom of the dish. So it has like soaked up all of that flavor. If things could not get better after a meal like that, we are about to sit now and drink some mint tea. Take this one. That combination. An award-winning combination, tea and fresh mint. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Well. This is all you need after a meal like we just finished. Oh yeah. You gotta lean back. <laughs> and lean back a little bit too. When it comes to food and travel, it, it cannot get better than that. And not only was the food 
outrageously delicious, but the hospitality of the family, the experience of being invited into their house to eat that meal, everything together just made it a memory, a food experience that I will never forget. And that is why food is such, that to me is the definition of why food is the biggest part of traveling and experiencing culture. That was amazing. I want to say a big thank you to Solomon and his whole family. And yeah, I'm, I'm just happy after eating that meal. We're gonna drive towards Petra now from here. Driving along the road, you will see many flocks of lambs and shepherds along the, the hills. And here's a big flock of sheep just grazing on the shrubs and herbs of the desert. This is believed to be the place where Moses struck the rock and water came out. And this is right at the place where the spring is and there's water coming out. So. Thank you. This is the, so this is the rock. Rock this is the rock here and then this is the water coming out. Yeah. The water is so clean and clear. We got all checked into the Moven pick. We're gonna stay here for two nights. And this is the view from our balcony up here. The entrance to Petra, I think is right down, somewhere right down there. I have to admit that I am still pretty full from that giant lunch feast we had, but it is time for dinner. We're eating dinner tonight at the hotel. But this is a very, the Middle Eastern Palestinian Jordanian dish wow, called msakhan, which is this bread with the onion with sumac and with chicken. Smell the cinnamon coming off of that. Yes. There's bread in there, there's lots and lots of onions, there's meat, Yes. or there's chicken. This is all onions. Oh, and that's that aroma of cinnamon. And let me try to tear off uh, some of the bread as well. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So this dish, which is the main dish that I got, is a Palestinian and Jordanian dish, and it's really, really fragrant. The like, the yeah, the aroma coming off of it is is really nice. Those onions in there. I'm gonna try to get everything in one bite. A little piece of that soaked bread, some of the chicken, and then all those onions as well. Oh, wow. Mmm. Those onions are amazing. Mm -hmm. Those onions are so soft and tender. They taste like they've just been slow cooked in lots of oil. It's, it's not sweet, but it definitely contains a lot of sweet spices like cinnamon. And to drink, I'm having a lemon mint juice. Very famous and everywhere you go in Jordan. Yeah, that is lemonade, but taken to the next level with mint in it. It's icy cold, it's so refreshing. It's sour to the point where like, you, it, it almost makes you squint a little bit. As I was eating, Fadi just brought me a plate of a lamb stew. And this is a traditional dish. And it's a creamy sauce made with yogurt, pieces of lamb, and then chickpeas. That tastes like a stroganoff. It has like a, a sour yogurt, rich and creamy sauce. It is dessert time, and one of the best desserts they have here is the Um Ali, which is a, a bread, Jordanian bread pudding. And there's bread in here, there's milk, I can see some raisins and maybe some nuts. Wow. 
that melts in your mouth. It tastes like cinnamon melted ice cream absorbed into bread. We are walking down the path. It's pretty dark, but following the lanterns. And I'm not sure exactly how long this will take, but we're on our way. We have just arrived to the treasury. It is right behind me, surrounded by a bunch of candlelit bags. It's pretty dark though, so I'm not sure if my camera is going to be able to pick up the, the rock face wall behind there, but it is magnificent. When we got to the end at the treasury, it was only lit by candles, and so there wasn't very much light, so my camera wasn't really able, capable of picking up too much. But what happened was there was a Bedouin musician who played a couple of songs, and then there was a quick story, and there were a couple of hundred people down there as well. It was nice, but I am really looking forward to seeing it tomorrow in the full daylight. So make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We're going to spend the whole day here at Petra. Really looking forward to it. And that's going to be it for this video. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for tomorrow.